Hi guys, back with Bastardsons. I hope you're well. I hope you're all keeping safe. Uh, I was uh, in the market for a new sort of outdoor jacket, something that would be windproof and waterproof and would keep me warm. Um, I think we've still got about eight weeks of bad weather to continue and I thought I'd pick up a bargain in the January uh, sales. Uh, the brand I identified that I wanted to purchase was Moose Knuckles. I'd shortlisted three uh, Canada Goose Montclair and uh, Moose Knuckles. I believe Moose Knuckles actually make the best uh, jacketing amongst the three of them. It is, though, not as high a brow a brand. You know, Montclair, Canada Goose, you can just see, um, you know, in, in the Alps um, and everybody's sort of uh, posing with them. Uh, Moose Knuckles is more an urban type jacketing, uh, more a sort of street type fashion is what I would say. And... Um, I managed to pick one up in the sale and I'm just going to do a quick review of that jacket and why I believe it was such a good buy and why I'd recommend the brand. Um, I just want to let everybody know I'm not under contract by Moose Knuckles and um, I'm not in contract by the shop that sold me. I just genuinely believe that this is a very, very good product and I did get a bit of a bargain with it. So let's just flip over. And here is the jacket. It is made from a cotton stroke polyester mixture. And this gives really good wind and rain protection. It has a very, very high um, down count, higher, I believe, than Canada Goose and Montclair. Um, and also what they do is they put a membrane in, um, holding the down in. I've seen Canada Goose where the down is, is popping out through the jacket. As I say, it's more an urban feel, not really me having moose knuckles blasted up and down the... Um, uh, the arms, but I have to say the pattern of this jacket is exceptional. The shoulders, the chest, the waist, the seat, the arm width, the sleeve length absolutely fit me perfectly. They're obviously working from very, very good pattern designs. Um, a bit garish, the lining inside, you know, sort of a, a bright orange. Um, but as I say, that's not why I bought this. I've always said this channel's about value, and this was the key here. This price originally had been £775 and it was down to £232.50. And I went with a friend to get this jacket and uh, he bought one. When we were buying them, I said, look, we're gonna buy two, is there any more discount? Yes, we got another £23 off, that's staggering. So this jacket cost £209 as opposed to £775. That's the sort of savings you can make. It is a buyer's market, I believe. It is not a seller's market, and you can get some really good bargains out there. That is why I've always advised, never, ever, ever pay above list price for anything, and always ask for a discount. Stay safe and stay tuned.